everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching my name is Lynette Canella and I am super excited to have you here today I want to do a what's in my bag video way back when I was I started watching YouTube I used to love to watch these kinds of videos and I would scroll through them I don't know what it is about watching what's inside someone's purse but maybe you want to see what's inside mine please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I load my next video and if you want to see what's inside my favorite purse then please keep on watching Okay, so first off, my bag is the Neverfull GM. This giant thing takes up the whole screen. But I have had this bag for 10 years. 10 years. When it first came out and it used to cost $700. But how I came up with that money was because in my job, I had gotten promoted, so I saved up all of the money that I could. To be honest with you, I was barely even eating because I really, really, really wanted this bag. So, you know, I was in my early 20s. I had no money, but I saved, I didn't eat. I lost like a ton of weight because I was so determined to have this bag. And now it is like, I don't know if you can see, it's all ripped and torn, but I don't know if it's worth paying to fix it or if I should just get a new bag. Let me know what you guys think. Leave them in the comments down below. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I first have my wallet. One of my very good friends always said that a red wallet is good luck. By the way, excuse my nails. My nail appointment is tomorrow. So one of my very dear friends told me that a red wallet is supposed to be good luck inside your purse. So inside my wallet, honestly, I have a lot of receipts and a lot of CVS coupons. I don't know why I spend so much money in CVS. I love CVS. So I have $2. That's it. Everything else is receipts. I have one one debit card and my driver's license everything else is is nonsense in here that i don't use i still keep this this was like one of my first cards but it doesn't even work i don't know why i still have it in here okay next we have oh i cannot live without this gum the extra green gum i have been chewing this gum since i was in middle school in sixth grade i don't know what it is about this gum but i absolutely love this gum i've been chewing it forever i can't buy a different one my kids always ask for different gum so everybody has their own individual chewing gum this one is mine for years the green extra one i i love it okay then we have my glasses i'm really good about my glasses i have them for many years and then I'll switch it up. So honestly, in the last 12 years, I've only had three pairs of sunglasses. I do always keep the case, you know, for the first year, you always make sure that you put it in there so that your glasses don't get scratched. But after that year, you just toss them in there and then they start to gain their scratches. So those are my glasses. And then I have uh, my daughter's broken bracelet. It's been in there, I keep saying, yes, yes, I'm gonna fix it, yes, yes, I'm gonna fix it, but I never fix it. Along with that, I just remembered I have my broken necklace, a ton of necklaces, and a safety pin. I always try to carry, I don't know if you could see it, this is the mess I have in there, but I do always try to carry a safety pin because if you're like me and you have, oh, I came off. If you're like me and you have a upper big issue, if you know what I mean, you always have like a button down blouse and it just pops open right here and nobody wants to see anybody's bra. So I always carry a safety pin just in case. This is a pretty huge bag, so it fits a lot. Honestly, for traveling, there's nothing better than this bag. I could fit all of the kids' iPads in there my husband's iPad, all the chargers, all of the medicine, everything, I just stick it all in here and it's super comfortable. It's 
sometimes I don't even need a carry-on because this is like my carry-on. Very important, my birth control pills. I cannot be without these. We all know what those do. Um, oh, oh, I have my earrings because today I finally, finally did my roots and highlights. I don't know if you guys can see, but I had to take off my earrings. These are Target, by the way. Target always has the best earrings until you lose one of them and you need a new pair. They're like $4.99. These were $7.99 because they're a little bit different. But these, these are nice. These are super cute now for the fall. Okay, I can't really show you, but I do have my work ID. I have some eye drops. I don't really need eye drops, but my grandmother gave them to me, so I just I just keep them in there. Okay, then we have, I don't know why I have all of these. Look at this, I still have from the cruise that we went on, I still have the key cards, I think I could throw this away. I have Dave and Buster cards, I have my husband's work cards, a Band-Aid, very important. I don't know what this Target card is. This is what happens also, the cons with the big bags, you just throw everything in there and then you forget that you have like a Target coupon, probably that's what this is. Then you have the uh, all dreaded bills. The water bill, all kinds of bills. You just throw in there and you say, I'll, I'll pay it tomorrow, I'll pay it tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll pay it tomorrow, the next day and the next day. Then I have, uh, what I started to use was an agenda, 2019 planner, and I used it very religiously until, hmm, March, April, then as May came along, it started dwindling down. But I think that now that I'm starting YouTube and Instagram, I think I need to start using a planner again. Which, by the way, if you guys don't know, I never had any social media before um, since MySpace, I think it was. I maybe had Facebook when it first, first, first came out and then I don't even think that I did, honestly. So I spend all of my days at work helping other people. I love, I love what I do. I help others all of the time and it's such a satisfying feeling. Like the other day I had um, this lady and it was so nice, you know, she's going through so much but then I can tell her, you know, like you look beautiful, your husband loves you so you can cheer up. I love makeup, I love fashion. I love YouTube because I spend my evenings when I'm dwindling down. That's what I like to watch. I just like to watch my YouTube videos, my makeup, my Jaclyn Hill, Kathleen Light, Amanda Ensing. Those are my favorite, some of my favorite YouTubers. Um, so until one day I was like, you know what? Why don't, why don't I try it? I spend so much time watching these videos and watching these people that I love. So let me go ahead and try, let me try it, see how it is. Maybe it doesn't work out, but maybe it does. And then I let this opportunity slide by. As we get older, things get harder. I am gonna say it is not easy to manage the time, but I do enjoy sitting here, surprisingly. I'm, I don't like attention, so it's kind of weird that I enjoy sitting here and talking to other people and seeing if we can connect and maybe I can help you. I love helping my friends when they have any questions for shoes, for dresses if they have like a special event to go to, when they're trying to decide what rug goes best in their room. I love being their go-to person, you know? So maybe I can be your go-to person when you need advice on, on anything. I'd love to help you. So just leave your comments below, any questions that you may have. I'd sure love to answer them. So anyway, now that we got a little bit off topic, Let's continue. Okay, very important. I don't know anybody that cannot be without a scrunchie. These are the best scrunchies. Again, CVS, always buy, you know, like those packs. These scrunchies are amazing. They don't have, they don't tear your hair. I always make sure that when you're picking up your hair, you grab it by this, you know, like what puts it together, the little piece. 
that's where you should grab it by because believe me, you don't want this dragging or tugging on your hair. It will crack your hair. So yes, always, always a scrunchie. And then from traveling, I still have this Ziploc bag with a bunch of Advil and Excedrin. That's what takes away my headaches. Not the Advil, the Excedrin. It's migraine, I take two and I'm good to go. What else do I have in here? Mm. Oh, Bed Bath & Beyond 20% coupon. Who doesn't collect these? I think I pretty much, oh, oh, hello, my makeup bag. How could I forget? So let's see what I have inside my makeup bag. Just the essentials. Like I said in my other video, I only have one brush in here and it's my blush brush. Cannot be without this. I have two mascaras because I use one for every day. This one, the L'Oreal Voluminous, and I use the NARS Climax for nighttime when I'm going out. My blush, my favorite makeup item is the Milani blush. Oh, see, my studio. I told you guys that I always had this MAC Studio Fix in here. This is, what do you call it? OG. If my son hears me saying OG, he would die. He'd say like, mama, please, you, don't, you can't say that. But anyway, I'm in C4. I've had this, I've had this powder, again, since high school. So along with the gum, along with this powder, and along with this purse, these things are super, super, super old. What else? A nail file. Oh my gosh, I collected one of these in a hotel once and having a nail file is essential inside our purses. Why? Because believe me, when you crack a little piece of your nail, all you have to do is just file that little edge and you don't have to worry about it, you know, sticking to your clothes and pulling on un hilito. How you? A piece of, you know what an hilito is. Okay. And what else do I have in here? My lip products, I have the, the lipstick, I have a lip gloss, and last but not least, I have the eyebrow pencil that I can't find in here right now. Oh, and tweezers, hello. This is where I keep my tweezers. Just because it's easy, whenever we go on weekend trips, I don't normally pack all of my makeup bags, so having just exactly what I need in here is perfect. This was a Christmas gift from my husband, by the way, this past year. All right, guys, that's it. That's everything that's inside my purse. I hope that you were able to pick up at least some tips and tricks along the way and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. See you next time.